Hello and welcome to the compendium of discomfort and the weekly baby assassins everyday review. I don't know why it's every day if it's every week, but we're not here to make sense. We're here to uh, be entertained and today we have the laziest camera setup I've had so far. I hope it still works out just fine. Um, yeah, it's very late and I'm very tired and I don't have much time to do this, so uh, let's just do it this way. So, uh, episode uh, 10, we will talk about it in a second. Um, but first, um, the big announcement after last uh, night's episode. Um, they are gonna release a big um, Blu-ray and DVD box of the whole show in March, I think the 18th or 19th. And uh, yeah, it's pretty expensive, uh, 20,900 yen. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty normal for, for Japanese uh, disc prices, but still, it, it really, really um, hurts. Uh, maybe I pre-ordered it anyway. Too bad. Um, yeah, some people were already little bit annoyed that there uh, is no English subtitle track and why aren't they releasing it in English? Um, yeah, very simple, I guess, because that company is not really responsible for releasing it in other countries. They're just uh, trying to find a distributor and selling it to them and they release it abroad and they will announce it when it's time. And I'm pretty sure that it will get released and uh, therefore it will be announced. Just not yet now. I mean, it would be a bit surprising if they actually announce it before the show is even over. So I don't I don't know I, I I would just wait until it's over it's just another two episodes and um, yeah I guess uh, after that or maybe I would say may maybe end of the year early next year earliest I I would expect any announcements I'm not not that I know anything about the release schedule or whatever but um yeah I wouldn't be so impatient <laughs> I mean. It's already quite obvious that it's coming sooner or later, but um, yeah, I, I, I can understand. Uh, they had the teaser episode and uh, everybody was really like, ah, I want to watch it. this, and uh, then nothing else happened. But yeah, I, I guess it will happen when it's time and when the Western distributors are ready to uh, release it. So yeah, no, no reason here. I mean, the Japanese release, Japanese releases usually don't have English subtitles because very few people actually want them or need them. And uh, yeah, for the international market, there are international distributors who will take care of that issue. And I guess, uh, yeah, it's a big enough hit to bring it abroad. So it will come soon. I don't, don't, don't be crazy. Don't. Like, ah, why? I mean, I, I understand it, no? but uh, yeah, we're here to talk uh, now about episode 10, and uh, it's a very, very good episode. I would really, really say it. I, I probably said it before, but uh, the second story arc, so the second half of the season is much better than the first one. But yeah, first here, look at this. Focus. Not on me. It's really difficult to, to get a good focus here. Anyway, uh, th these two obviously are what we're going to talk about. It's funny how it just keeps focusing on me while I'm trying to show this. Um, yeah. Uh, very very good episode again so while i felt like the first half of the show was pretty much um a great start and then it was a little bit where am i going where are we going here what's the the main goal why are we doing this it turned out really fine and very good but i feel like here it's more of the 
more, more the opposite, like it starts and you're like, what are they doing here? And now we've got a really great direction and it uh, seems to turn out really, really exciting, dramatic and uh, really good. So we still have this um, work rotation thing going on, but like we established at the end of last episode, a Mahiro is actually there to kill her new co-worker. Um, here we found find out why um, this and uh, yeah he's uh, the suspect of uh, being a murderer. What a surprise! Now he uh, killed his younger co-worker. And um, she's there to find proof, and if she finds proof, she's supposed to kill him. And uh, yeah, here in this episode, she actually finds the proof. And the problem is, she was told in the beginning that she should, in no case whatever, um, be friends, become friends with him. Um, yeah, don't get too close. And uh, of course, that's really difficult. And uh, he turns out to be a very fun guy with a very fun mouth. He does stuff with his mouth that's so entertaining. Um, I don't know. I, I really, really like him as an actor. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. Like this interaction. Um, actually seeing Mahiro interact with someone else uh on a friendly manner is very nice um, different thing here um, we had that before and she had to kill those people uh, in episode 2 which was by the way the same director uh, it was the um, uh, the other Wataru uh, the Hiranami Wataru and this is the last episode he made for this show and um, yeah uh, yeah, somehow he gets these little bit different episodes. He did this one, the second one with the Izakaya, and um, I think the one where they went to where they went to Chisato's home, and uh, yeah. So here um, it's all a little bit diff different because first we have this um, extended split between. Uh, Chisato and, and Mahiro, who don't have really many scenes together. I think there's only one scene they actually spent together, even in the end, uh, uh, the, the post credit rolling in the park is Mahiro only. So, um, yeah, the, the only scene they actually have together is kind of an argument, more like, um, why didn't you message me? I was so worried and, uh, she did doesn't really uh, so so Mahiro is worried about and she said because she's late home and didn't tell her why and uh, she's more like yeah I don't really want to talk about it so there's a little tension here and um, the preview for the next episode already a uh, teases big drama and uh, yeah that's uh, really exciting so why do we have drama so here in this episode it's a little bit more split between the two. Um, because we find out that uh, Chisato's workplace is actually quite nasty and evil, so we have a bad weather situation and uh, she has some suffering, some pain from an old um, shot wound in her uh, belly somewhere. And uh, she's like, yeah, elf. I would like to go home, that hurts pretty pretty badly, and uh, therefore her uh, other female co-worker who already uh, threatened her to shoot her, um, yeah, suddenly has to do her work and is not so pleased. So um, on the way home she, she uh, breaks down a little bit, and a friendly man played by the lovely, wonderful Yoshiyuki Morishita, uh, you recognize uh, his T's, um, star of many, many movies, uh, classical, classic movies, um, Hanabi, uh, Ju-On, Sonatin, uh, Swing Girls, Taste of Tea, uh, and Kill Bill 1 and 2, Ichi's a Killer, a Cutie Honey, the Hideaki Anu, and recently he was in uh, Cloud, uh, many, many movies. You have probably seen him if you watched any uh, Japanese 
movies from the last like 30 years or so and um yeah he has very uh recognizable teeth and uh, is a very very fun man and here he's the owner of uh, of a, a chinese restaurant and he sees her in front of his shop and he's like hey girl come in i'll make you some food so she eats and feels happy and uh, when she comes out her co-worker like, oh got ya and yeah causes a lot of trouble and in the end um yeah she returns to work uh, because she basically gets bullied and um it's not a very pleasant atmosphere and the next day suddenly she has the a new death list the new target list and this lovely man is on it and she doesn't really know why so we end up with a situation where um she basically has to um process this, this uh, process uh, of getting him killed what she's not gonna do directly but she has to do the paperwork and uh, mahito has to kill her new uh, maybe friend maybe fake friend uh, mr hino and yeah basically we've got this big situation where we're not sure what they're gonna do i mean if they're as nasty and evil as they were in um, the second movie where they just um, yeah like kill these guys who could be very great friends um then there's no problem but uh, yeah it's very obvious that they're not exactly the same people anymore and they have some more issues with just killing people and that's something we build up throughout the whole series quite well like in the first episode we had this janitor guy in the second one we had the izakaya stuff then we had um this guy uh, who recruited them for the big assassination attempt in the big story arc of the first half and all these things so uh, what they build quite well in this series is uh, a growing um, discomfort when it comes to uh, killing people so they actually like some people and uh, that's very nice that they built it up this way because that was for me the main criticism about uh, the second movie that you have these two guys who are basically very nice and very likable and in a different setting they could be wonderful friends but they just shoot them and uh, don't really care and that was for me a little bit too ruthless and too cool and um i said it in my review for the second movie if it had been shot just from a distance uh, like a total um i wouldn't mind it because uh, then we don't really know how they feel about that it's a bit more vague but they do this tarantino-esque uh, cool shot from below just to make the girls look badass and i didn't really like that even though repeated viewing made it a little bit better because of small details and stuff it makes it a little bit um less cool or less ruthless but yeah i, I like this approach that they actually evolve as human beings and become less like that and uh, have a little bit more sense of um, do i really want to kill this person i mean it still looks like mahiro will just uh, kill mr uh, hino but um yeah chisato will be probably the center of the next episode makes sense if we build up mr hino as the main antagonist uh, it makes sense to finish uh, chisato's um, work issues in the next episode and the mr hino stuff in the last episode and yeah i'm very excited about that it looks super super interesting um the next the preview for the next uh, episode looks uh, very very dramatic um there will be a lot of suffering and, uh, and uh, it's it's great and um yeah the show just keeps getting better i mean that's what it's supposed to be like right if you make a 12 episode show um 
yeah, you should get better to the end. So it makes total sense that the second arc is better than the first one. And uh, the first one is a little bit more, I would say, more relaxed, less tension, more weird. And um, yeah, here we, we get uh, the full drama. Um, yeah, it was the Mr. Hino storyline. There's a similar situation where he had to kill an old acquaintance, I think. Um, yeah, and uh, there goes some stuff wrong, and he can do that still quite easily, even though he knows that man. Um, yeah, so let's see how this turns. There's, there's this other great scene where um, Hino confesses to Mahiro that he actually killed this younger co-worker some time ago. Uh, they're both pretty drunk, and... Um, he said, oh, you're gonna uh, betray me as well. And she's like, no, 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 I'm not gonna betray you. And uh, minutes later, she's uh, calling her boss, telling him, yeah, I recorded the whole conversation and I've got the proof. So it's a bit more like, oh my God, is she actually just gonna kill him or will she have a little doubt or... But also, it's very exciting. I really, really, really love this episode. Um, and se seemingly, um, yeah, Mr. Morishita's birthday is actually the same birthday as his role, but uh, Hino's birthday seems to be a different um, someone on Twitter. Or, or the, uh, same, um, the uh, one or two episodes before when um, Chisato came to the new job and they don't really have time for each other and her job looks like she just has fun. I think um, her new boss shows her his phone to show her a picture of his daughter. And I, I think someone on Twitter wrote that it that the date on the phone would be uh, Mahiro's birthday, which would make the whole scene a little bit more depressing because, hey, it's uh, then it must be one year after... Um, after nice days and yeah uh, birthday and they can't spend time together i haven't checked that yet again but uh it's uh, one, one of the things see people who actually pay more attention than me find out um yeah but i i really really like the show and i just checked again the blu-ray will be out on uh, march 19th and uh yeah, bonus features uh, so far. It's just a making of announced, so it's more like a making of, etc. Um, no idea what else will come, but uh, it's probably very worth uh, buying. I hope at least I will get the great TV show in glorious uh, image quality. I hope. <laughs> um, yeah, will be great and uh, just expensive. Yeah, and more more other stuff. I think depending on the shop where you pre-order, you get some bonus extra stuff, like probably something like uh, this. And uh, I will get some badges, it seems. Uh, they have uh, in the uh, TV station's headquarter, they have uh, like a gacha machine that where you can buy those badges i guess it's one of those if you want to pay uh i think five thousand yen extra you get a karbika or something karbika where was my karbika i can't find karbika oh here's karbika yeah but uh, that's gonna be back some other day i need two more episodes uh two more time stuff i could show you so uh that's gonna be maybe next one <laughs> um, yeah anyway uh, thank you very much uh, the show is really really good uh, if you have the chance someday and you haven't watched it I'm, I'm expecting more people are gonna watch these videos when this show is actually out in uh, understandable languages for most people so uh, yeah probably I don't know maybe a year from now or something like that it's gonna come relax I told you it's gonna come someday it will be out you will enjoy it uh, probably you will have enjoyed it so far and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching this video um, yeah I usually don't say that but you, you could uh, comment and you could uh, subscribe and all these nice things that you do on YouTube so uh, anyway thank you see you bye